Welcome back to another scripting video by me. Anyway, today we'll be learning how to make a a random script that'll give someone a random superpowers. Yeah. So first, take a part, put it in the works. Just make it whatever you want. I will not show. And anchor and take the can collide off. And you can make it transparent and whatever material and color you want. Name it whatever you want that you can reference it and turn. And yeah, now we make the leader stats. So just copy the script, pause the video, you know, okay, let me explain. This creates a value, puts it into your player, and you know when you join those games and you see uh, in the corner in the player list, there's like points and stuff, well this is how you make those. So this makes the stats, and this makes one of the things that's in the stats. So you'll know what power you have. Anyway, now that you made that, you need to. I think this might be a two-part video where I make this one, and then I show you how to make like different powers. But I'll save these two to my Roblox, and you can go and take it and put it in your lighting. So the way you have two things to use. And my Roblox name is Cool Ghost Rider Zero Zero One. You know. So, now for the fun part. Click the part that you use to give you the power. Insert a script. Name the script give. And this is how you're going to start, right? Enabled equals true. Script parent touch. Well, can't spell. Connect. And this is what you're gonna put. Hit. Okay. If not enabled, then return in. This makes sure that if it if enable is turned off, it won't do anything. Enable equals false. That way, so no one can go back and get, you know, powers. Uh, we need to get the player, which is local player equals game dot players. Get player from character. Let me remember how I did this. Um, I think it's hit that. No, 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 no. I know what I'll do. Find first child hit the parent dot name. If player, then then it'll come off. So only only players can touch it. If anything else touches it, it won't do anything. So um, well, what, what was I doing again? Oh yeah. Um, so now that it found the player, if the player is there, it'll powers equals wherever you put your powers. Right now, I put mine in lighting. You can go and get that from my profile. Just put it in. And put game dot lighting get children. That gets everything in lighting. So if you have something else in lighting, like say you put your, your effects in there, you would want to do this. Uh, get like a folder, name it powers, and put all your powers in there. Okay. So you just have to change this instead of lighting, you put in the lighting the powers get children. And then local randomize powers equals math with random pointed number of times. Okay, this takes 
this randomizes the power the powers by taking the number of it so it's one so since it's two it will go from one to two and choose either one that's good like if you want to make a random power like in one piece games if you just want to make one devil fruit and just make it give random powers all the time this will this will work great but like say that anime where the you know the where they have quirks and stuff so I forgot the name and then this is where you choose the power local power chosen yeah I know I spell dash exp um, equals the powers then random lines powers oh wait was I supposed to put this in brackets or I'll test this and then just to make sure it works print power chosen dot name if it prints the name on here then it's working come on load no sticking by the way this video was uh, requested by one of my friends his name's I think it's I I Dragon Blocks I I I think. What's up, dude? Anyway, okay, it's, it should print the name. Oh, see, fine. It works now. Now that it works, go back in the script. You can remove this. And now that it now that it's there, you need to make it change the name. So. Since you found the player, local stats equals player my first child leader stats. Okay, and if leader stats is there, if stats, then it'll it'll choose the power. Rising power, and then. Stats that and I think I needed powers equals power shows now we go in. I wonder if the leader stats works. I didn't check. Okay. Now you load. This is the part where you load. That's in the blend. In the blender, blend it up, you get some instant puff. Okay, now this is where the powers is. As you can see, there is nothing. Now, when we touch it, it should say either fire or energy. Let's go. It gave us nothing. Oh, what did I name it? Power? How about we change it to Quirk? Just for the fun of it. Quirk. Quirk. The value. Now, this is the part where you publish it. Just to make sure it doesn't. You know? While that publishes, now I go test. <coughs> I am sick. It's cold. What? What are you? What are you doing? Okay. New week. Okay. See, up in the corner it says quirk. And now. A quirk should say nothing, like it does up in the corner. And now it should say either fire energy. And guess what? It doesn't. So I'ma just, you know, go back in the script. I think I supposed to put the name. Chosen power dot name. So if you named it, you should you should. If this is what you're gonna do, you should name it what you want the power to be. So that way it'll give you the power. That way it will be easier for you to give them the power when they touch the wall. 
you can use this script in like anything it doesn't have to be touched you can just put it in like and they join in the game it'll randomly give them one yeah now it should you see now it says fire up in my quirk yeah the fucking <laughs> anyway when it does that i want it to give you the power don't you want that or well, you don't you should you dumb dumb okay now it should say local power equals in a plugin of powers time first child power chosen then clone power that can't equals player that Now let's see. We should get a power. And again, if you want to learn how to make make one of the powers, like I use to press the key, it'll shoot. If you want to learn how to make one of them, then you would just tell me in the comments, like the video and stuff. And I'll know if you want me to just click. Now it has fire. It should have given me fire. If I press R, see that. And if you wanna, you see that uh, that effect. If you wanna learn how to make that, I can see in the next video when I show you. If if you if you want to see me how to show show you how to make this, how to add the effect to make it like make that pulse thing. That way you can show off to your friends like, hey, look what I made. Ah, energy pulse. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, I don't have any way to tell you goodbye, so I'm going to just be like, not see you later, alligator. Bye.